Happy New Year and welcome back to my channel where we talk about business credit, personal credit, stocks, finances, taking that money and starting businesses and things like I'm about to do today and show you how to start a business from scratch and build business credit up for that company. Now, I did a video about a week ago that you know that I'm going to start a new business on the 1st of January 2022. It's going to be a courier business. Now, I've been doing some research and doing some things behind the scene to prepare for this. Um, I'm going to show you how to actually start the LLC around the business, uh, how to start getting contracts, how to you know make sure the car that I have currently is able to um, accept the contracts and you know make the deliveries and gradually scale up to a larger uh, van, sprinter, um, to a box truck, um, eventually after that, and eventually expand a courier fleet, if that's what I choose to do. Or I might just keep it simple, uh, simple operation where I just go, you know, one man operation, go pick up samples and deliver them that way. So I'm gonna start fresh. Today is January 1st, 2022. If you're looking at this video in the future, I'm starting this video and I'm going to go to the Secretary of State website here in Georgia where I'm going to start the business. And uh, yeah, we're going to get it into it. Okay, so here is the state of Georgia's corporation where you start the business um, or you update your annual information every year. But we are starting a business. So we so actually we're gonna search our business name and be honest with you I haven't even started thought of a business name so let's do that now uh, I think I'm just gonna name it Ash Fleet ATL the FFA because we're definitely going to be doing more than medical uh, currying so we don't want to just put a medical courier name um, it's going to be delivering a lot of things and quickly so let's just see if this is available fast fleet ATL no data found so that means it's probably available so that's a good sign let's go back home and let's go ahead and start this service up so now i already have an account um you want to start an account with the uh with your local state uh secretary website uh, i'm gonna log in with my holdings company account all right now got my name all right so we're going to create register name doing this in real time guys real time you're going to see from start to finish how we really do this how we really really do these things i'm creating a new business and this is going to be a limited liability company llc Nope, I did not reserve a name, but we did a search and we didn't see it. Last week, we ain't got no second choice. One and done. Next codes. Transportation, warehousing. this one see if they got the sub code here we go carrier express delivery there we go so you want to do the 49 nas code and the couriers nas code um, i'm gonna do the office here at eceo suites my virtual address space 
All right, let me get through that. Looks like that name might be Flash Fleet ATL might be the wave. Uh, I'm gonna keep this under my holding company. I'm gonna actually try to use my holding company as a holding company this year and run run uh, everything up under there. I'm going to blur out this email address and let you guys email me. Uh, create register agent. I'm already the agent. It's all good. going to cover this all up but you guys don't need to see all my information just to start a business so I'm probably going to fast forward a lot of this to get through the process but I still want to document it because I'm going to have a class coming up at my office co-working space on how to form businesses so if you're in Atlanta area, January 22nd, 2022, I'll be having that class for individuals who want to learn how to do what I'm doing right now. And for a small fee, we're going to have a class, we're going to have some food, we're going to have some fun. I'm going to learn a lot about starting a business and building business credit around it. All right, so we got Fast Fleet ATL, and when we got the registered agents info, we got my address of the business. And we got the Courier Express Delivery Services. And we got my personal information. Perfect. So we're going to hit submit. And now it's time for the fun part. We got to make a payment. As you see, it's $100. Um, same day submitted by noon on a business day. Two days. Okay. Well, I'm not in a huge, huge rush. Um, we're just going to stick to the $100 payment. I need to grab my wallet. And they take you to this portion where we make a payment, which they had took PayPal, but they don't. So we're gonna pause the video, make this payment and be right back. All right, and we're back. So we just made the payment. Thank you for your application. Your business formation filing has been sent to the corporation division. Fast Fleet ATL LLC. If the name is available and the document complies with Georgia law, these articles will be accepted. So hopefully the name is available. Let's say we did a little quick research and same thing come back. Um, then I will get my certificates and all everything upon then. So I just need to keep an eye out on my email. And that is it, guys. That is how you start a business in Georgia. And the same uh, steps can be duplicated in your step. Website may look a little different. Pricing definitely is going to be different. Um, most states are a little bit higher than Georgia. Um, so that's that. Um, if you want to be uh, registered in Georgia, I have a virtual address space where you can use uh, my address to file your company in Georgia. Take advantage of these uh, low state filing fees for businesses that you saw was only a hundred dollars to file the business. Um, this is my third business here in Georgia, and I'm about to start the 
business credit building process. And next step is to get my EIN number. Now, I did some research before that you can only file your EIN numbers on a weekday. So we're gonna wait until Monday for that. So that will probably be the next video showing you guys how to uh, start, get your EIN number and Duns and Bradstreet number. All right, guys, later. Thank you.